Hi YouTube, my name's Nigel Gardner. I'm here to talk about all things guitar related, but today we're talking about sus chords. Sus2 and sus4 chords are kind of like supporting chords for a major or a minor chord. I have this silly analogy of thinking about birds flying through the sky in that V formation. So if you put the major chord at the front, let's say A major, then the sus4 and sus2 chords will be flying just right behind it. Like they're, they're ready to go at any moment to switch places with it. What you're doing is you're taking the root, third and fifth and you're swapping the third out for a fourth or swapping the third out for a second. The tonality of this is going to be A major but I'm kind of moving around it at the same time. So. Show you the same thing with A minor. So if someone said to me play A minor for a minute I'd be quite keen to involve these sus2 and sus4 chords. They're the same. Here we go look. All right I hope that clears that up. Let's move on. Okay C major. All I have to do to get sus4 is play the little finger underneath. So I'm replacing the E with an F, the third with a fourth. The major third is here, the E, so if we let go of it, we have a D, C sus2. So just four strings. Now look at all three played together. Major. Let's take a song by Brian Adams, Summer of 69. It uses D major, but it uses the sus2 and the sus4 shapes as well. Check it out. It also then goes to A major, by the way. Of course, the same is true for D minor. And you could also, of course, you could play the same riff Okay, let's look at E major and E minor next. So E major has a G sharp and there's an A right next to it. So. Of course, E minor as well. E sus2 is more difficult, so I'm going to avoid it in this scenario. It's because it needs an F sharp, and then we have to find a way to either block the G string or play a B. It's best avoided for now, I would, I would suggest. Okay, F major. Some of you may know Torn by Natalie and Brulia. I'm going to play that right now. The very beginning of that song goes... So there I had F major, F sus4, back to F major, and then F sus2, which has the open G string. If you're still getting used to playing F, it's kind of a tricky one, because you've got to play 3, 0, 1, 1. It, is, it takes a bit of effort, but worth it, because it's so nice. Now I'm just climbing up the alphabet here, but it's kind of funny we've left G till last because it's a bit of a strange one. So you probably are familiar with G. There's a few different ways to play G, of course. You've got three fingers and four fingers. But if you could play, and I know it's a bit of a big ask, but you should definitely try this. If you could play G with your third and fourth fingers, just on the outside strings, we'll block the A string. So. Then we can put our first finger on the C, which is first fret of B string, and you have a G sus4. G sus2 is a little tricky. I put my middle finger on the A string, and I'm blocking the B on purpose because that's the major third. We don't need that right now. So, it means I've got four notes in the end. I'm blocking the A with my third finger, and I'm blocking the B string with my second finger which I find is not that hard to do. Like, if you don't really try, it should just kind of naturally do it anyway. So I've got G, 
because there's my major third. And I've got G sus4. And G sus2. Okay, I hope that clears up a few things for you. Um, really, D sus2 and D sus4 chords, to my mind, are just ways of creating melodies inside chord progressions and keeping things interesting. Just imagine that V formation where the front chord is either major or minor and the sus2 and sus4 are right behind it, ready to be substituted at any time. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you found any value in this, then please consider subscribing and please like the video as every little like is going to help a small channel like this one.